Hey, what's up, guys? It's Larry, the robot maker, robot general. And I'm going to show you uh, sort of a quick uh, walkthrough for the scripts or campaigns for FooBots. So I'm going to share my screen real quick. Okay, so this is the community at school.com. I try to make it easy by just typing in FooBots, which will lead to the school. Now, if you're trying to log into the CRM, Actually, I put the login right here, uh, but the actual like do domain or URL is actually app.foorobots.com. So F-U-R-O-B-O-T-S.com. I know it's confusing, but I actually made the FooBot so it's easy because I can actually control and change and manipulate and upgrade and update information here. So if you if all things fail, you remember FooBots, you'll be able to access everything. Whereas if you type app, dot foodrobots.com or you don't remember you won't be able to see all the coaching content and everything so anyways i'm going to show you how to review the campaigns you go to classroom you'll see the link for campaigns here uh, i also will probably put in other places now this is actually a screenshot of all the campaigns that you should get as a real estate agent but i also divide them up in buyer scripts and seller scripts and other scripts and there's probably more that can be uploaded but this is a pretty good amount of them so the first thing I want you to look at is the actual design of this uh, platform. You can see here, there's like the name of the script. This is actually shortened, so you can so I can fit it in and you can read it. But this is actually the the name of it in Fubots, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and log in to show you, so you can do a compare, compare, uh, compare and contrast. Okay, so. Um, when you look at this, this is actually the entire thing on one page. You can scroll all the way down and you'll see everything. And the way I designed it is so that you can see the screenshot that you will see on FooBots. There may be some notes here. And I tell you that this is an email, what email number it is, when, what the subject is, and the message. And you'll see here where there's like bold and all capitalized, this is where you need to customize. And I want people to realize that not every single script is going to be 100% ready to go. You would actually have to go in there and change it. This is why it's important that you read the campaigns and the scripts before you actually launch it, okay? So again, this is like what an email would look like. This is what a SMS or a text would look like. Uh, if it's a ringless voicemail, it'll actually say ringless voicemail here, right? Uh, and you literally can see the whole thing on one page. Okay. If you're using your mobile device, same thing. You can just kind of scroll using your phone. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to put this side by side. So now uh, you can see this is FooBots and this is where the campaigns are. So when you log into FooBots, the first thing you can see is leads, right? And then you click campaigns up here and then you actually see all the different campaigns. Okay. I'm actually going to go line by line with this particular one, the 10 days of pain buyer lease, because it's the first one that's listed. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to actually just search for it because you, you can scroll if you want to look for it. Uh, or you can just type in 10 days of pain buyer F U. Actually, it's actually uh, buyer leads, right? See, I, I can't use this one. I have to use this one. So as you can see here, there's one for agents, one for lenders. This is the one that we're going to look at, okay? So when you first go in, you will see like a dashboard. You got to go to the automate follow-up, okay? So as you can see here, you'll have like a screenshot of this, right? This is really the menu or the list, and these are clickable, okay? And I try to make it so you can see, like, what you would see in FooBots here, okay? And then, you know, there's a note, like, there's a typo here is what I'm saying. Uh, I would check. Maybe I did fix it. Who knows? Um, but as you can see here, I have email number one. Now, this one I actually added myself, okay? But if you go to email number one, this email number one, you'll click it, and you'll see that it's actually very similar. Your home loan pre-qualification request, your home loan pre-qualification request. Hi, first name, my name is full name with insert company name here. Hi, first name, my name is full name with insert company here. So you can see it's very similar, right? And right here, again, I, I told you in bold capital letters with the parentheses, you need to change this. 
So right here, you see, you can find it. Easy to find. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to change this one because this is my default, but, you know, I would put like, um, I'm with open mortgage. Okay. Because I'm a lender. But, you know, if you're a realtor, I don't know, I'm going to use a random one. Let's call it uh, ABC Realty. Right. That's what you change. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, this is not formatted perfectly. This one it is, but this one, some will be formatted, some won't be formatted. It's just the nature of the system. So I would actually go in there and I actually format it myself. Uh, this is actually like an email. So I would do like this and now I'm good to go. And then I press save, right? And now that I know, and I need to change this one as well, I will change it and then save. And then I'll know that it's done, right? Um, so SMS right here, as you can see, it is similar, right? Thanks for your submission for new info, first name. I understand you were recently referred to me by insert website name here, insert website name here, okay? Now, these are the originals. I actually stated up here as a disclaimer on every single campaign that in order to be compliant, we recommend putting this verbiage on the initial SMS and text messages and provide your lead an option to opt out. And this is the verbiage here. This message is from insert your company here. If you would like to stop receiving messages, please reply stop and opt out. If they if they type stop, it will automatically blacklist that lead on the phone uh, that leads phone number, so no more messages will be sent to them on the text message server. Even though most campaigns are set up to stop sending any more if they reply anyway, so that means most of my campaigns, I'm pretty certain most, as in like more than ninety percent of them, have a stop as the settings, and I'm gonna show you what that means right here. So when you go to settings, auto stop. Right, turns off if you turn off if you want the sequence to keep going after lead response. Turn on if you want the sequence to stop after lead response, and I have it on. Most of my campaigns that I share with you will have this on. So what that means is that it should stop the moment someone replies. So you, they're going to stop anyways, right? Unless you change that, which is you know on you. Uh, but this way, you give them a compliant way to opt out, and you're not doing anything. Uh, illegal. Now, I actually added it here again because I just I didn't want to change this, so I actually added it here. I put first name question mark, and then I actually put this message sent from insert your company here, name here. Okay, uh, so again, you you are if you can see SMS one, I have first name right here. You see, so I actually and this is the first text I send out because the same same day lead is added immediately after lead is added. You can see here date and delay. Okay, so I put it on the bottom of this, but it's not here. Okay. Because again, this is something that I'm adding as an option. I I insist that you should. I put it on every single first text message, right? But you can always change it out if you want. But I put it here as just sort of a disclaimer. Okay. Um. So yeah, there you go. Okay. So uh, again, there's plenty of scripts here. There's more uh, that may not be on here. If you want me to write you a script or you found someone online, I can put it into Fubot and then I'll actually share it here as well. But as you can see, there's plenty of scripts here for you to uh, review. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because I want you to be able to look at the scripts without having to go to Fubots and click in each individual message. As you can see, I can only see one at a time, right? Email, I can see one at a time. See, SMS, see, so it gets a little cumbersome, right? If I want to read all the, 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 the messages. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to be exactly like this. So Fubots not going to be exactly like the school. A content, but it gives you a good idea. I still recommend reading each individual one. Okay. Why do I put this if you're going to have to read each individual one, anyways? Because I want to give you an idea of what the campaign says. You might not want the campaign. Why would you read every single message if you review it here and you're like, oh, you know, I'm not really feeling this campaign. So you just move on and go to the next one. But let's say you land on one. Like, for example, this is probably my largest campaign, 600 days, 1220 touch. You're like, okay, this is. This is kind of crazy. Look, I mean, there's like five, six, seven, eight. There's like 10 screenshots for this campaign, right? Uh, I'm not going to click through each one, of, each one of these individually to see if I want it or not. So I can read here, see if I like it or not, right? There's email number two, email, uh, SMS number four, email number three. I can read all the way down to email number 79 on the 600th day and decide if I like it or not. If I like it, then I'll go back to the autom uh, to the campaigns. I'll look for the 600 touch, right? I'm going to decide that this is the one I want, right? I, I want to use it, right? So you're going to automate follow-up. And then, I'm, then I'll actually read these to make sure I like it. Now, a little pro tip. This is not 
required, but I suggest it because of past mistakes and conversations I've had with other clients. If you like a particular campaign, like let's say I like this 600 touch one, right? That's the one I'm going to use, right? Then um, instead of going in here, right? Clicking it, going to automate follow-up and actually editing it, right? I would actually go to campaigns, add new, duplicate existing campaign or duplicate existing campaign. And I'll actually write this as a 600 uh, touch and let's pretend that you are um, John, right? And today's date is 0822. So you're actually creating this campaign, 0822. Then I would actually look for the campaign I like, right? And I would actually duplicate it. The reason why is because that way, whenever I go in and I edit it, I'm not editing the original or the template. I'm editing a different version. It's the same thing, but it's it's just a copy of it. So when you go to campaigns, I'm going to put 600 day and you're going to be able to find the, the, the original one and you'll be able to find the one that you created. Go in there and edit that one. Go to automate follow up. I'm going to go ahead and change this one right here. This one says first name and then uh, this one has the opt out information. I'm going to put my company name. In this case, it would be open mortgage because that's I'm going to work for a mortgage company. I actually press save, and now that information is officially saved. And again, if you want to use the 120 touch 600, 600 days, I recommend that you read every message just to make sure you can read it here. Now, you're going to be like, well, that's a lot of messages to read for customization. Well, make your life easier. Make your life easier. And just read right here. Okay, I got to go to email number one and change Mr. Community name. So let me go to email number one, which looks like this one, and change this. See, is there anything else? No, it's all, that's the rest of it. So I'm gonna press save. And then let me see if there's any other ones right here. Another one that needs customization. This is SMS number three, one, two, three. Now it might not be this one. It might be this one. Uh, again, I, it depends on what you do to the campaign. So this one, see, needs to be changed. So I'm gonna put open mortgage. And scroll down real quick. Let's see if there's anything else. Nope, it looks good, right? So then I'm going to go to the next one. I'm look for customization. Okay, right here. This is for an agent, right? Hey, first name, did you prefer, you know, you put your preferred loan officer to reach out to you yet? So maybe that's me, right? So, hey, first name, did, and this is, the sub, this is actually the subject, did Larry Lee reach out to you yet? Or save, right? Uh, and that's only in the subject. That's not even in the message itself. And I'll keep on scrolling. And I'll keep on looking for anything that needs to be customized right here. Hey, first name, my blank lender name, right? Uh, again, this is a campaign you would do with, you know, a lender buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six right here. See, email number six. I'm looking at number six. I'm going to put my lender's name on here. Larry Lee. Or you get Larry the mortgage guy or Larry... Lender, whatever you want to put. Okay. I'm keeping on scrolling. I'm looking. Oh, look, there's another one right here. Online application. Right. So that would be the, your lender buddy's uh, link. SMS number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there it is right there. See? And I'm actually going to put my link. Just happens to be literally team.com. Right. Insert agent name, and I already here answer your questions. This is probably more like insert lender name, right? So this one should say lender. So sorry about the confusion, but hopefully you kind of understand it just by reading the email, which you should do, like I said. Larry Lee. Not. Typing is bad. There. Done. See? And right here, insert lender name. And, and you, you, you get the picture, okay? Uh, there's another one where I actually put a review link because we're trying to convince them, hey, look at us. We'll look who we are, right? So that's a re review link on email number 11. It's text number 12, I insert a review link. And after that, after right here, so this is an email number 13 where I actually talk about insert company name here, how long how, or what year you started, and a review link. But that's going to be pretty much all the customization after you get through these first emails of text. And the rest is going to be more generic. Right. The most rest of it's going to be like, you know, a hey, quick question. Are you still going to buy a new home? 
check out our new home website search, right? You put the link below. The link below is going to be your signature, hopefully. Hopefully, that's what you did with your signature. Um, hi, just going to see if you have any questions about the property website. I can set appointments for any home that interests you. Have an awesome day. So for the most part, after like, uh, you know, 20, 30 touches, which you can see right here, there's no more customization. So even though it's 120 touch, you're really going to look at the first 20, 30 messages at most. The rest of them will be pretty much generic. As you can see, there's nothing really to customize here. Okay. Right. Uh, I hope your month is going great. Do you have any questions or need any help at this time? No rush or pressure. Right. So again, I recommend before you launch any campaigns to review these scripts here. And they might not be exactly the same, but it's enough for you to kind of look at it. And I always uh, ask my clients, hey, if you plan to upload something, you're not sure, ask me. I'll actually take a look at it or I have a teammate look at it. Right now, I'm look, I'm doing the, all the work, right? So let me know and I'll take a look at it just to make sure it's good to go, right? The worst thing you can do is launch a campaign that you regret because of a grammatical mistake or a typo or you forgot to change one of the customizations, right? So I'm willing to do that for you to make sure that your launch is smooth and effective, okay? Uh, we'll talk about how to upload all that stuff in another video, but this is just so you can understand why these campaigns are existing on the school platform right here and how to navigate it. Okay. It's, it's li literally designed to be a resource. So you can compare and contrast all the different campaigns, which, you know, there's plenty. I have 63, but a lot of them are from lenders. Okay. Uh, but again, if you have a campaign, you don't mean to add in there. You have a script that you found, or I write one for you. I'll try my best to upload it here. And I'll try my best to keep it so that I can share with other people. So if you see a campaign on this list that you don't have, let me know and I'll make sure I share it to you. Okay. Uh, hopefully that makes a lot of sense. You know, I, I didn't want this video to be too long, but I did have a lot to explain. So that's why it was longer than I wanted it to be. But all that matters is that you understand, you, you kind of um, uh, figure out why we have these two different platforms, why we have the CRM, but we also have the school platform is literally designed to make your life easier. Why? Because I've been doing this for a couple of years and I had hundreds of clients and I, I kind of understand the pain points. I kind of understand what, um, what, where the holes were, what was uh, frustrating uh, and what was missing from our process. So this is hope to, hope to fulfill any kind of needs or problems. This is a solution to problems that I foresaw or I've experienced. Okay. So if you have any questions, let me know. This is Larry, the robot maker, robot general. I'm out.